Now, personally, I can't remember a better time to be thinking about buying new golf clubs. 2023 has been a huge year in terms of product releases, and we're only in February. Every major brand has released full lineups, and what that means is it could be the best ever year to buy new clubs, apart from one element that is the bloody price of them. Putting price to one side for a minute, what that means is, is that with the options that are now presented to you and the amount of choice there surely is, if done correctly, a perfect club to suit your requirements. And in today's video, I'm going to give you a perfect example of that with a range of clubs from the Callaway Paradigm lineup. Did you know right now, in the Callaway Paradigm lineup alone, there are 14 different options in terms of fairway woods? Now, that's before you even look at Callaway Big Bertha and the Callaway Rogue range, and that potentially presents a little bit of a problem. Because can there be such thing as too much choice and actually leave you all a little confused? Well, maybe, but in today's video, and with the help of Lewis Johnson, I'm going to hopefully help you make that decision-making process just a little bit more clearer and straightforward. Right, so before we go any further and get Lewis and myself hitting some balls out here on the golf course at Hollywell Golf Club, let me just talk to you about the three models that Paradigm offer this year. There is the Paradigm, the Paradigm X and the Paradigm Triple Diamond, and they are all very, very different. If you just look at this little overlay that I'm going to put from Callaway's website, maybe pause that and just have a look exactly how Callaway describe each of those fairway woods, perhaps who they're aim that in terms of the style of golfer and also what it is you're looking for in terms of launch, forgiveness, spin, all those types of parameters. So that's what Callaway say they do. Now it's time to hit some golf balls and get an opinion from an average golfer and also uh, a fairly better one. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore bringing you the hottest deals in golf and of course the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Right, so we've managed to drag Lewis out of that warm pro shop. It's a bit fresh up here this morning, mate. He's even got a hat on. Yeah. No, uh, no clubs again. For no me. clubs yet, no. no. Clubs. I like this at the minute because I give him a bit of a surprise. He knows we're doing Paradigm. There's a bit of a clue there. It's uh, the Three Woods. Three very different clubs, as I've just explained. One that is very much aimed at the better player. And then we've got the other end of the spectrum. So what I want is the same as what we did the other day with the TaylorMade Stealth lineup. Great. On your opinion and I've mine, never, mate. I've never hit any of these. Have they? you not? No. Nope. No. Nope. First thoughts, visuals from address, mate. Lovely. Yeah. You like that, don't you? Yeah. Just nice, isn't it? Yeah. Did a good job. That is. Simple. I don't, I don't sure. They do that with a lot of players' clubs now. They don't put any reference on the top today. No, 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 not on this one, but it comes in on the next two. Okay, good. So referen uh, Lou was referencing the sort of alignment, you normally see the Callaway Chevron. Yeah, it's like the little Callaway V, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they don't put it on the triple diamond range at all. I'm not a fan of that. As ever, straight out of the bar, that is a stunning ball. It's a nice flight, that is Higher it? Higher ball flight than I was expecting off it, Lou. Yeah. Sounded superb. Oh yeah. Liking that? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's move on to another one before we give your evaluation. Well, that was a stunning strike. Jesus. Nice that. It's pretty much my flight with balls like that, though. Off that. Off, oh. my, off like my three wood. I mean, I think that's it's perfect. Lovely that. Person. Little draw. It's a little bit high and floaty, but yeah. I don't mind that. It's kind no, of it's very nice. So I've gone, I've given you now this opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah. So we've gone Paradigm X, which is shallower in terms yeah. of the the, uh, the whole club face, a little bit more elongated. So this would be not... there, like, kind of, to the opposite end, so it's yeah. more forgiving. It's most, most forgiving, yeah. It doesn't sit close, which no. I like. I like a lot of the forgiving ones. They sit close and they're sort of anti. And can you confirm, is the chevron back on the alignment aid? Uh, yeah, it's yeah, there. yeah. And you've got some really bright, you know, really bright white lines yeah. on the face, which are quite noticeable, so... Um, Easy to line up. Clearly a different shape, but you know, not too, uh, not too bad. It's ex 
it's yeah, exactly again, really good strike. It's exactly the same flight, that isn't it? They're literally tracing each other, but a higher ball flight, which is intended. Yeah, it looked from that. a little bit weaky, didn't it? But yeah, very similar, which is and similar in feel, which maybe we've done a, something recently on on you know, the, uh, um, another brand, but they've got it to feel the same at the face. Okay, between this, the, uh, this triple, bend, uh, triple which diamond, is, and which the, is a, which is a massive positive. Is this shape a contrast of the two? Like a, it's a blend of the two. Well, let's Can I see them. Let's have a look. Get them both together. Can we. So you definitely see the small. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So the normal one's not the same as the the X. It is a blend of the two. It is. So you get more of the shape of that one. You get the visual alignment and the lines on the face. Cool. So this is the one. It very that, much sits. That's it, the one I'd like to look at. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it sat in the middle in both yeah. sort of profile. So, yeah. So it looks like the better better players one. You know, the, the yeah. triple diamond. But you get all the kind of alignment tools and. Yeah. Which I, why wouldn't you want them? I don't know. That's again, do you know, they, what's been interesting to me, the flight has been really good. Shot shape. It three started out probably out five yards right. further right, but it still drew back. Yeah, it's so, um, if you If you'd have got me to blind test them. Yeah. Feel yeah. and flight. Yeah. I don't think I'll be able to tell you. No, no, which, I must admit I was a bit, a bit surprised. A, which is a bit of a testament to. However, what I will say, and we'll just uh, we'll have a look at this downrange, to me, the triple diamond seemed a lower spinning version, even though the ball flight, I don't think it was as high. Stronger, right? stronger flight. It was a stronger yeah, yeah. flight, and I think it's potentially lower spinning because I think that the triple yeah. diamond is a lot further down. Should we have a look? Have a look, yeah. Yeah, no. But overall, I love them. Right, Lou, before we go, so first of all, let's just go up over the three shots. Yeah. I was wrong, basically, because you could throw a blanket over them, couldn't you? Yeah. You were wrong. This was about four yards. I think further, about four yards it? further. It four yards. And it was clearly, it, it looked like it come off a little bit. But it, the feedback for me was mm. they all kind of did the same. Um, and, and I'm glad I've got down here and they kind of I all know, have but, done the same. But, but what surprised me a little bit is that, in theory at least, from the, again, what Callaway is suggesting each club would do, that should have been, in my opinion, lower ball fights and lower spinning yeah, yeah. there for I expected it to be a bit longer so I'm a bit surprised the question I've got for you now we're going to play from a fairway tight lie is there any like preference in terms of head type that you would play I'm, uh, I'm really I'm really um, I like what they've done with the middle just the yeah. standard one yeah. yeah yeah by blending the two in terms of the head shape is more like the triple diamond yeah um, but it's got all the sort of yeah, so it's like niceties of, of the you know the easy to line up the easy you know it's clearly quite a that happy medium head. yeah I mean the thing I'm noticing down because I've asked Lou the question but I'm looking down now the one thing I don't like is on the triple diamond that black face that you referred to and is it I mean it's just yeah, you just can't see anything you can't, no I was reference. Say, yeah yeah it's not black face but it looks like from a dress and you, it doesn't present any loft or, no. you know so visually that is more off-putting for me personally yeah. um, so I like to see you can clearly see the face on the other two which is weird because um, from a loft, a loft perspective they're all the same yeah um, but it's obviously the way the shape and profile matches up right I'll get out of your way which one do you want to hit first I'll hit the triple diamond again first keep the same order and we'll okay. see what yeah super ball again nice draw shape I can't believe how the, the ball fight is super impressive uh, again that's the way that's picked so up high. yeah yeah I thought maybe off the tee it was just a yeah but no that's gone I mean off, off a tight lie there that's gone so high hasn't it yeah just <laughs> I'm just gonna yeah I mean I've got that in the standard setting yeah, I wonder be. whether I'd added loft for me trying it but that's 15 degrees and it's really popping it up high next one the normal I mean, I mean, what I will say, really, again, super sounding shape, yeah, yeah. everything about it was yeah, good. Yeah. What's the kind of makeup of these? So it's a lot of carbon again, and it's carbon, but but only carbon again, it, yeah. it, it's not that um, full wrap of carbon or whatever they referred it to that's in the driver. So this is the normal. So what are you hitting now? Just the normal one, standard. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Tell you what, they're they're all very high launching. Three yeah, yeah, really they? high. 
but the same i like the way it's coming back i like the way it sounds they're dead easy to pick up i think you know regardless of what it says on the tin in terms of forgiveness they're just I think I mean, I haven't hit any shots to warm up and I've just hit five, so I'm, we're waiting for the one, aren't we? We're waiting for the one I maybe don't hit. Well, the point to mention <laughs> is that um, you may be questioning you've not seen any shots of mine yet. Well, I've hit uh, so six shots, two with each so far, but off the tee. I'll perhaps overlay them now, actually. Um, first three were straight out the bat this morning, slightly lower ball flight, not maybe warmed up. Next hole, things a little bit different. Really, again, what you've just seen here, really high ball flight, which I was super impressed yeah. with. And again, downrange for me, no real difference in terms of distance uh, travelled. They just got there. Again, the paradigm was slightly lower ball flight. So, uh, you know, what, I'm, what I'm feeling here is, because that's the thing with Ferry Woods, is, you know, how, a, long, a long shafted, low lofted club off the deck. Yeah. Generally, people struggle to launch them, don't yeah, they? Well, yeah, well, that's what I'm going to do now. We're seeing five and seven woods more. more yeah, popular, yeah. But these are all 15 degree. And, and they're that just going straight up with all three. So well, I'm going to this is prove that theory <laughs> right or wrong in a minute, Lou. <laughs> yeah, unreal. First of all, I mean, Amazing. three super strikes. You're not going to be, those who are right next to each other as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll say again, I've probably said on other videos, I swear to God, Lou has come up from the pro shop they were the first three shots of the morning there, the second batch. I don't know how you do that, to be quite honest with you. So it's a super shot, each one of them. I mean, from the back side of the camera, watching in, and if you said to me, and which club have I just hit, I wouldn't have the foggiest, because yeah. they're no different. It's a, it's a massive plus for me, that. It is, it's it? really good. It's, it's quite really shot, impressive. Though. Yeah, yeah. Right, Could use any I'm going to swap places, mate, because I've got to give them a go off a tight lie on the deck. Nice swing, that. That's just incredible, isn't it? It's the launch on them. Yeah, that's the surprising bit. Yeah, we've done a lot of high lofted fairy woods in different brands, haven't we? But these are all 15. Well, I'm anti three wood. I've been that for the last year, to be honest with you. I've been suggesting to everybody, look, ignore them. There's not enough loft on them. And mainly because of the ability to generate enough club head speed to, to work with that uh, 15 degrees loft. And in this case, at least with that, and that was a standard model, by the way, I can't tell you how good the ball flight was and how impressed I am with that. Nice. That's interesting again. I mean, <laughs> interesting enough, that was the X model. It was a lower ball flight, but it definitely came off down the bottom grooves there. I think the thing we can take from that, I can't tell you a lot about ball flight, because like I said, it wasn't as good of a strike from me personally. But what I can tell you was, it did it incredibly well from where it got off the club face. Because I think, yet again, if you went down there, they're, they're probably be, very, very similar they're all be in the same end spot, positions. Yeah. I'll give the triple diamond a go. Great strike. I mean, that's just absolutely flown, isn't it? You've hit that. Just goes to show, doesn't it? Just yeah, that's very incredible. easy to hit them. Oh, that's right. the top whole, of the mound. As a whole range. Yeah, Brilliant. hard to knock. I mean, I don't know what I mentioned before I picked it up. That was a triple diamond. I thought I might as well give it a go. Um, I hit the X the worst. That was about a personal, my own swing issue. Um, probably that came off the fastest. It certainly felt like, but again, hard to know how much of that is down to the uh, club head speed or swing speed of me personally. Again, mega impressive. We'll go for one more tee shot from Lou and I think it's time for a summary, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we've just decided that we've hit enough golf shots, and I think enough to give a fair old opinion because yeah. it might end up being similar. I don't know. My question was going to be to you. We're still on the 16th tee here at Sollywell Golf Club. Three woods, not a bad shout off this tee. No. Nope. If you had to pick one of the three, what would you go with? I'd have the normal. You'd have the standard model. Just the standard. You've got diamond. triple diamond. I've got triple diamond there. Yeah, I've got triple diamond in my hand. I appreciate what this does. Mm. Um, if you're a, a better player who hits three wood maybe off the tee, yeah. wants a slightly, slightly like sort of lower spin in, more be, penetrating. Yeah. It, you know, if it, but if you're like me and I hit my driver a lot, and you want three wood to just be a three wood, yeah. you know, you're going for par fives with it. There's no reason. That's so good. That normal yeah. one. I am got a lot more to add to that because I'd agree with everything Lou said. Um, 
yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to add anything. The three would are great, like you said, a lot. If you want to play off the tee, that is definitely, we haven't done dry ball data today, but I think without doubt that is the lower spinning version um, and has been a slightly longer ball, but not overly yeah. different. For me, I criticise three would certainly for average golfers because they lack versatility. And what I mean by that is they're okay if you want a, a substitute for your driver, if your confidence is low, but then I'm not keen on them from the fairway. But what this does, it was really easy to pick up, this being the standard model, again by the way easy to pick up but then you've got adjustability in there yeah and you've got it looks good it yeah. feels good oh, yeah. it sounds good i think that. i think that's one thing they they all feel similar you're not sacrificing anything with that yeah. you get you get the alignment uh, bits you get the lines on the face i think that's just a, as an all-round like a great club for everyone I think we'll leave them final words then for Lou. Great club, I'd agree. And all three of them, I think, whatever you're looking for, I think Callaway have done a fantastic job with those yeah. in terms of three woods. Um, yeah, absolutely superb. Right, that's the take of an average golfer, of a professional golfer. The only thing that really matters is what your opinion is. So either uh, if you've tried them, I'd love to know and put your, data, your, your own thoughts and feedback in the comment section below. Or if not, then let me know if this might have persuaded you to give either of these a go. Either way, thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow night.